Hi, Hi9 Yours. I am Dr. Pranati Gutta, Pediatric Neurologist from Butterflies Child Development Center. Today we are going to talk about how to prevent seizures in children. Seizures are caused by abnormal electrical activity in the brain. We have to identify if there are any triggering factors for the seizures like fever or any low sugar or abnormal electrolytes that need to be treated immediately. When a child has a seizure, the most important thing is the first aid. So when a child seizes, it can be a very traumatic experience for the uh, parents. Watching a child or an adult seizing can be quite daunting. So first thing is don't panic. Make sure that the child is safe and away from danger, like away from furniture or any stoves or any harmful sharp objects. Turn the child then gently to one side. Either side can be fine and you can cushion the head with your, either with your hand or a uh, pillow. Don't try to restrain or stop the seizures manually. Don't try to put anything in the mouth or put keys in the hands. Don't try to make the child drink any of the liquids at, during that time because this can cause aspiration. What we mean by aspiration is the food or water that's not supposed to go into the lungs. In a seizure, the child is not fully conscious and cannot protect his airway and thereby the food or water that we are going to give can accidentally slip into the lungs and cause breathing problem and sometimes it can be dangerous and cause death. Now the duration of the seizure is very important. Most of the seizures stop within 5 minutes, almost 98% of them. So whenever a child seizes, it's very important to note the timing. If the seizure lasts more than 5 minutes, then you need to take them to the nearest hospital immediately within 5 minutes. Or there can be an emergency medicine uh, that would be prescribed by a doctor if necessary. And that has to be used as per the instructions. If the seizure is less than 5 minutes, you need to keep the child in the recovery position as stated before in a one side. And one, you have to keep the child or maintain that position until the child fully recovers. And if the seizure is less than 5 minutes, you need to seek the attention of doctor, though not immediately, but within a day or two. You need to show the doctor to see what is the reason for the seizures, what are the causes, and whether it needs any regular anti-fit medications or not. Treatment for epilepsy is slightly different. Epilepsy is a tendency to have seizures more than two in 24 hours without any reason. For epilepsy, we need to evaluate what is the reason. Clinical history is very important. We need to find out based on the clinical history what is the type of seizure. Once we confirm that it is a seizure, we do an electroencephalogram or EEG to find out where the seizure is coming from. Based on where the seizure is coming from, we might decide to use uh, medication depending on the seizure type. Sometimes we might want to do a scan based on where the electrical discharges are coming and the MRI scan that we might request uh, would be based on the abnormal electrical activity from the particular part of the brain and we would concentrate on that particular part of the brain. Sometimes some epilepsies are genetic in nature and are developmental in nature and uh, last for a couple of years and then disappear. Some of the epilepsies might not even need treatment like benign epilepsy with centrotemporal spikes or BECs where we do not regularly treat unless the seizures are very frequent. The minimum duration of anti-fit medications once it starts is for two years. The medication has to be started very slowly and increased in a couple of weeks time and maintained at that particular dose. Thank <laughs> you.